Hello community, the new Sonnet 3.7 Sinking Mode, the Max Sinking. In the last video we just looked at the normal one or O3 Mini High, but now, now we go for the new Sonnet 3.7 Sinking 32K. And I have my extreme logic test like the last 11 month. We have here 15 clues and this is a simple logical test. So let's run this test here. Yes, great, we had LMSYS.ai. And we have here two tests in parallel. So on the left side, we have Claude 3.7 Sonnet Sinking 32K. And on the right side, we have DeepSeek R1. And after seven minutes and 32 seconds, we get our first result. You see, we are here with reasoning model. This is test time compute scaling. So Sonnet, yeah, beautiful, starts to sing. This is real time. So here we go. From this clue, I can take now the key deductions. Sonnet goes on and in its sinking mode, the artifacts, yeah, beautiful. So DeepSeek R1 is already here in the conclusions and done. Wow, this was fast. Okay, so we have a final answer here by Sonnet sinking. Okay, this is the answer. And then on the other side, we have DeepSeek R1. This is the free one. This is here the open source model. And now let's compare. Is it okay if you take here an open source model? How much better is Claude 3.7 Sonnet Thinking 32K? Should you spend the money or not? Well, here you have it one to one. Avalon, Crystal of Time, Enchantment and Phoenix, Brindor, Salamander, Amulet of Dreams, Brindor, oh, Salamander, Celestia, Illusion, Chimera, Term of Secrets, Celestia, Term of Secret, Illusion, Chimera, Nice Dorn, okay, Mirror of Truth, the other one, Dawn, Mirror of Truth, yes. Unicorn, beautiful. Eldoria, Healing Griffin, Orb of Shadows. And on the other side we have, yep, come on. Yes, I noticed it. Yes, Feyland, Imagine Magic, Ring of Realms. Yes, if you look here, you see those are exchanged. Galaria, Alchemy, Dragon, Self of Elements. So, we have almost identical only in Eldoria and in Feyland. We do have different solutions. So can you find another valid solution? Because maybe there are two valid solutions in the system, no? So let's go. We are waiting. We are waiting. Yes, this is a test time compute scaling methodology. So two minutes and seven seconds later, we should have the first model providing here an output. Yes, beautiful. Thoroughly re-examined here the clues and yeah, I don't believe that. Yeah, Sonnet 3.7 sinking is here. Mm, okay, this is it. Deep Seek R1. Let's have a look. Deep Seek R1. Yeah, okay, this is interesting. It says, hey, this configuration. So let's go with Sonnet. Can you find another solution? And the answer is, I don't believe that there's another valid solution to these logical puzzles. And it's, let me explain why. Yeah, there are a lot of constraints and yeah, this is designed here with exactly enough information to reach a single unique solution. Any attempts to rearrange would violate this. No, this is not true, Sonnet. And here the other side, DeepSeek R1. No, there's no other valid solution. The original solution is uniquely determined. So we do have this, that both systems think, hey, we found the only solution of the system. So what do you think we're going to do next, huh? Well, yeah, of course, we're going to help those little AI models, no? So I say, okay, hey, if, check if this and this is true. Tell me if this is also a valid solution. So we give it the solution, the second solution I provide now to both sides here, to Claude 3.7 Sonnet Thinking and to DeepSeek R1. Remember, on the left side, we have the expensive proprietary model. On the right side, we have a free DeepSeek R1 model. Up until now, they were absolutely correct. Both models found the correct solution, but there were more than one solution. So, Sonnet found one and DeepSeek R1 found one. So let's see if they found now maybe the other solution. So after one minute and 56 seconds, there should be a first output. Yeah, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Clouds sonneting. I studied, I checked, I did. DeepSeek R1 provides us here a little bit more information, step by step verification. Clue 15, clue 13. Working through the implementation. But we get from both models a good idea what is happening here in the background on the reasoning methodology. 
maybe you could say DeepSeek O1 has a little bit more transparency, but well. So O1 tells us, hey, set it for all the clues. Yeah, this puddle admits two distinct solutions. So O1 tells us, yes, this is another real solution under the given constraints. Beautiful, O1 succeeds in this task. And the, yes, two distinct solutions. I told you so. Beautiful. Yes, absolutely. Yes, you can go there step by step and verify everything that you want. It's nice. But let's have a look here at Sonnet 3.7. Thinking this solution is also here a valid solution, an alternative solution. So you see, if you tell them, hey, you were wrong, this is another solution, they can validate this. But they could both not find it if I told them, hey, find a second valid solution. So both models have the same performance. If you read here this exactly, you see they are absolutely almost on the same level of the complexity that they can handle. So, a valid alternative to my previous answer, Sonnet 3.7, beautiful, and all one. So both those models, I would say, almost in logic on the same level. Isn't this beautiful? Yes. Let's have a look at this. Phoenix, yeah, Brinda, Pegasus, I'm a lot of dreams. Identical. Look at this. Celestia, Chimera, identical. Beautiful. Dorn, Unicorn, Mirror of Truth, identical. Aldaria, Salamander, Orb of Shadows. On the other side, yep, come on, yes, I see it. Salamander, Orb of Shadows, Phalet, Healing, Griffin, Ring of Realms. Absolutely identical. So they have now found here the correct both two correct solution. So beautiful. 3.7 sonnet thinking. And this is here the code performance. But you know, my tests were only on pure mathematical logic. Let's have the second test now. The second test now goes here. And this is easy because you know what we're going to do? We use here the Grok 3. But no, the sonnet. And then, no, I don't know this model. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What we go, where is my sonnet deep thinking? So I have the sonnet deep thinking and grok. Remember the one on the left side here, this is now my elevator example. You have to go to floor 30 and you have only five A, B, C, D, E button in the elevator. And there's a challenge, find the fastest path. There are two trap floors here. And this is an exercise that you know that I have in my other videos. So let's see this. What I wanted to tell you is, you remember Grok3 in this version is not a reasoning methodology. So the right one is not deep thinking, if you want. While Claude Sonnet 3.7 Sonnet thinking is the deep think model. And after close to two minutes, Sonnet comes back with a solution. So let's have a look at this. Okay, why well, this path is optimal tells us Claude 3.7. Absolutely sure what it did. Grok3 here as a non-reasoning model, you see, takes here a little bit more of a complex path. Sonnet tells us, hey, I found the most efficient way, seven button. This is incorrect. The optimal button sequence, it is a correct solution, but it is not the optimal solution. It is not the most efficient solution, because this would be a six button press solution. Why this path is optimal? This is nice. I explored several other possibilities, but none could reach the floor in less than seven button presses. This is not correct. So here's a solution with six. So we came here to the end. So I have to say continue so that Grok3, a non-reasoning model, non, uh, if you want, test time compute scaling model, has to run all of this. So this takes longer, more complex, and after 44 seconds that we waited here for Sonnet to come alive, Grok3 cannot continue in step 5, as you see. Interestingly, Claude 3 one Sonnet makes now another run on this. So Claude 7 tells us, hey, I do this again. Now, interesting, if you look at the left side, you see it comes here to absolutely the same conclusion Okay, further analysis, double down, double checking here my thing, verifying again. Let me verify this again on alternative path. But the end is also, as you see, this most efficient path requires seven button presses. This is still not correct. So if you say continue, because my little Grok3 has to move ahead, Claude 3.7 with the thinking is just running another complete test. So you see, 
this is kind of an advancement if you have really you have to have the time no otherwise yeah okay grok 3 runs out so we have to say continue again we have to wait one minute and two seconds and now in the third time claude 3.7 tells us hey i found a better solution look Sonnet tells us, you know what? There's a six button solution. Yes, beautifully. So if you say to Sonnet, do it again and do it again and do it again, Sonnet will find here, as you see, a six button solution. This is really the optimal path. So took some time for Sonnet deep thinking, but if you have to pay for all those tokens, wow, this would be rather expensive, I guess. So but it can find a solution in the third run. Grok3, yeah, Grok3 came to us finally, beautiful. So you know what? We just say, hey, if this is a perfect solution, let's just validate if Sonnet found a really a six button solution. And I ask both systems the same question. Is this really a valid solution from Claude 3.7 Sonnet Thinking 32K? So thinking happens, beautiful. Verification, so Claude 3.7 Sonnet comes back, yes, this is valid, this is optimal, and appears to be the most effective possible solution to the puzzle. Quark 3 takes a little bit longer, but if you look at this verification, optimality, beautiful, yes, final answer is valid and optimal. So both systems come to the same correct conclusion. So what I do now, now I give them another solution, I tell them, but this is the optimal solution. So how do they handle critique? Now let's have a look at this. As you can see, both are beautiful up. Let's evaluate those. Both are evaluating this. And as you can see, Claude 3.7 Sonnet. Okay, wait, Grok3 comes through. Final answer, beautiful. So you see, yep, this is it. And if we look now at Claude 3.7 Sonnet thinking, you are absolutely right. Let me verify this. This is indeed a valid six solution but uses different button. Thank you for pointing out this alternative optimal solution. Both approaches work perfectly fine, minimum six button presses. So if you want to find out how test time compute scaling works, this is my video for you here. I explain everything. This is gorgeous. But now, of course, you see here in the complexity scaling of this video, I showed you we are already at the limit what those machines can handle. So there you have it. We have now Sonnet 3.7 Thinking 32K against the free R1. And R1 is really powerful. They are both on the same level. And then we had the Sonnet 3.7 Thinking 32K versus Grok. The second one was a little bit unfair because there's also a deep thinking version of Grok 3. But I just wanted to show you there's a significant difference between a thinking model and a non-TT thinking model. So test time compute scaling is here and will stay and is extremely powerful for all the modern models. Of course, you have to pay more. It is more expensive, but they provide here for a logical task, a better performance. If you want to subscribe to this video, hey, why don't do it right now? And I see you in my next video.